Hiya. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much to all my subscribers for um, subscribing and for all newcomers. I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit the subscription button and notification bell and join the Lavish V family. Let me go straight into my video by saying, yes, I'm dressed up in African attire, Nigerian Yoruba to be exact. My head tie is a showcase. And then my beads, Nigerian jewelry, and my clothes is Nigerian lace. So yes, the reason why I'm dressed like this because one of my subscribers asked a question and say, when did I meet my husband and stuff like that and what perfume I wore. Um, and so I just thought I'll answer through a video. So yes, first question is, um, my story is a different type of story. Uh, Basically, one day I was coming from work and I wanted to do some food shopping. Then um, I drove past the supermarket and then I say, I'm not going to do my shopping tonight again because I was really tired. So I reached at my house and as I was about to pull my seatbelt off, I just changed my mind um, spontaneously and said, you know what, it's Saturday night, I should go and do my shopping because tomorrow I could have a laying in bed and don't bother with shopping again. So I just put back my seatbelt on and hit the road back to the supermarket. On entering the supermarket, um, there was lots of gentle guys saying hi hello how are you stuff like that because i always like putting myself together and men think that that is what they should be attracted to so they were like hello hello but ignoring them anyway cut a long story short i walk around and did my shopping as i um was at the tills um this guy now said to me um, if he could help me pack my shopping. And I'm like, knock yourself out. I don't mind. I don't care. Like, whatever. If you want to be useful, be useful. Because, yeah, that's helpful to me. Don't have to pack my own shopping. So then... Um, he helped to pack the shop in. He took the trolley. He pushed the trolley going outside. He's like, what's your name? And I'm like, well, any name you want to call me, I'm fine with it. So then um, he uh, took, when one will reach the outside of the supermarket, he's like, can he give me a lift home? And I'm like, no, thank you. I've got my car. So he walk me to my car took the shopping out put it inside the car and then um he said uh oh give me a um, nice to meet you can i have a hug and i'm like no i don't know you <laughs> we can shake hands and then apparently later that was a test to see the type of woman that i was so i'm like no we can shake hands because it's it's okay you have been useful you've been helpful to me so nice to meet you and then he asked for my number and i gave it to him we exchanged he told me his name was ola and then i'm like okay i don't care like sort of thing like okay and um back in the days a uh, Vodafone was very expensive, so I had a Vodafone and a T-Mobile phone, which was called one-to-one. -one. And so I gave him the one-to-one -one number, 
I mean the Vodafone number. I didn't give him the cheap mobile number to call. So I gave him the expensive one and I'm like, okay, if he if he call, he call though. And cut a long story short, I didn't hear from him until I would say a month later I was at home sitting on my sofa um watching TV and the Vodafone rang. So when the Vodafone rang, I answered it. I didn't know the number. And then he started to explain that it was the guy I met at the supermarket and whatnot. And I'm like, hey, I was bored actually before it called. So um, I was, we talked and talked. The conversation went really well. It wasn't about man and woman or relationship or nothing like that. It was just a simple, how are you? Oh, um, what's going on business with the, with the hair? He asked me what I did and stuff like that and vice versa. And it was just a normal conversation. And then moving on, we had many more conversation, um, prior after that. And then, uh, what happened now? Yes. So when we decided to go on the first date, um, I chose a whole lot of this and that that I wanted to do and it was very expensive and what I love about him he said well if you want this and you want this then he would do without this and he would do without that just to please me for what I want he didn't just say yes 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 he will um no problem so i love that honesty in him that okay so okay 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 and then um i really didn't want all those stuff but normally to push a guy away um you ask for so many stuff and if they say yes 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 you know this one is he will probably go and break a bank just to please you um to impress you so my um later husband now he was just like normal like talk it how it is and i, and I really love that it was just down to earth and what time it is i'm working to earn my living i'm not stealing so all those things you're asking for yes i can try but this is how it's gonna be and i was doing pretty okay for myself with my hairdressing oh yeah um i was running a salon and all that um and yeah it was um what would i say mm, very nice finally because i was really really single I, I i was not dating anyone so it was it was very good for me having somebody to now talk to from that initial um date i didn't even all the stuff i said i wanted to do and what i wanted to buy that that went through the window i didn't do any of that um our first date meal was um fried fish and yam no grilled fish with fried yam so i'm saying it the opposite way and chili pepper with onion and tomatoes which was quite nice and um i didn't eat it at the restaurant i, I got a takeaway and then uh came back and we ate so that was the first ever date and yeah uh what else is important to say here yes after that first date then we had several other dates but nothing we didn't get involved it was like dating for like i think seven months before i thought that oh this guy could work with <laughs> but um he reminded me the other day that whilst we were dating one day um i was washing up my dishes and um he got up because he's been coming over for months now so he's like oh it's time to make the move and he came and smack me on my bum and i said to him what do you think you are doing go and sit over there <laughs> so um he's like 
he said he was so ashamed of himself that he wished the ground could open and just and he, or he disappear because he said, what type of woman is this that I'm leaving her house at 3 a.m. in the morning, 4 o'clock, we are talking so long and just to touch her, Bob, she's treated me like this then. Mm, he said he that confused him. He wasn't sure anymore where this thing was going. And yes, that is how we began. So yes, after that, um, seven, eight months time, then I'm like, okay, he hasn't changed. And he still remained the calm, nice, pleasant guy. And easy to talk to easy to gel with and when he met my friends um he just got on he fit in and vice versa I, his friends love love me and we just gel 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 and i didn't know that he would have been my husband i know that i true as i begin to truly love him but when from day one he used to call me his wife and tell everybody that his wife but i i was like hmm, <laughs> like sort of thing like you can talk but you might be a player i'm i'm not sure about this yet so let me see what your makeup of and not um get myself too deep and with a broken heart because when you've been single and you are um in the um an independent woman it's like it's difficult for somebody to come in and take control when you provide for yourself you've been doing everything for yourself you don't answer to anyone yeah of course it's difficult to let someone come in now and you have to say where you're going what you're up to what you're doing and things like that so yes it it was and and one thing he is from nigeria and also nigerian men don't have a good reputation when it comes to the women like they lie they cheat they do all kind of stuff and so obviously i had my guards up like all your horses guy let let's 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 not race like we are doing a marathon here just just take it easy but yeah i knew that he was in love and that love and that energy and vibe that he was giving to me um how can i not reciprocate how can i not feel special and and warm and fuzzy and everything so he really played all the right strings i'm not gonna lie and um it was it wasn't difficult to love him or anything and it wasn't difficult to settle down because there was nothing that i was looking for that wasn't in him and i didn't have a list that the guy must have this or the guy must have that i wanted somebody if i found someone to love me for me and someone who appreciated me and let me feel like the beautifulest woman in the world and special and that there's no other that's greater than me and he brought that right on my lap and put it down and you know it was and still is awesome it's like when i feel my ugliest i don't know it's like he just know how to make me feel good and i can feel ugly but yet he does start to kiss me and pamper me and make me feel and I'm like, when I look in the mirror, I just, um, like, had a baby some months ago, and I feel fat and this and that. But his behavior towards me 
change my own perception of what I feel like I feel like. So those are the things that I love about him and he's not perfect. He give me headaches sometimes. I'm telling you. But there's no question in my mind, heart, or soul to God about his love for me. I know my husband loves me and not because I am deluding myself, but because if I cry, he cries. If I laugh, he laughs. Whatever I, I say, it's like, yeah, you are right, babe, that is not a yes man if it's something that he don't agree with he don't agree with it full stop and i have to worm round it and make if it's something that i really want and i believe in then we have to trash it down so so he's not a yes man but he knows that i know good things so he tend to listen carefully and analyze and um weigh up the situation and learn that he was like any typical good person because you have to be good to wanna be good or do good in my opinion so he just like any man i wanna go out and um entertain myself and stuff like that but i'm like guy this is not a single man show here and put my foot down because at the end of the day i have to be happy as well and he always say he've learned that when i'm happy he's extremely happy so for a happy home your wife must be happy first. So I call him a smart guy because he learned fast. I'm telling you. He learned. And what else do I want to say about my husband now? Yeah, I wouldn't change him for the world. And like I said, he ain't perfect. He ain't perfect. But he gets me. And that's what I want in a man. Because there's no perfect person in this world. So if you can find someone that gets you understand and support and have your back and vice versa, you have a winner. So don't ever let that person go. And like I said, um... We have traveled um, through many of storms and rain and sunshine and blossoming and um, dried months and rainy and if I haven't said that already and so many different aspects of our relationship. But one thing that's bound us together and bind us is that love and commitment. And as I am right now, I just trust God because no one knows what tomorrow brings. But for now and from before, I've been very happy and it should show because... I've got seven children. We've got seven children. And today is like we are new together. And that is a blessing in itself. And that don't come easy. You have to put so much effort and work. Meaning keep it like it's fresh. Don't get stale and take advantage of disadvantage of each other because advantage of each other are take the make as they say because you won't have no happiness in your life it's like 
my final bus stop and his final bus stop and we are working together as a team and there's so much more i want to say and yeah but before let me round it up and just to say yes allah i'm still in love with you as the beginning and thank you for keeping me happy and my children happy and thank you for being strong and the man of the house and the head of the family well done to you and i'm not trying to praise you and make you feel any better. i don't even know if he's gonna watch my video <laughs> but yeah thank him for me everyone and um because nowadays too many men is too weak they are weak and useless and and i'm not hidden from the world i can see what is happening and they are not supportive they are they are nowhere to be found and that's not good enough every woman need to know that she is a queen in her own right don't let anybody take advantage of you know that you are worth everything that you are worth you don't want to um, sell yourself for less and if your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever is not doing a hundred percent you can just forget it <laughs> anyways i know my worth i know it don't matter how i feel about myself that i feel ugly ah uh, you cannot try to take the mic i will not accept that for nothing even though my husband don't even try because he know already that it won't work this is from the beginning conversation that anyway say no more i'm a strong woman when it comes to deciding i know what's good for me and what is right in my life so i understand some people and not everyone is strong as another but you have to self-love love yourself first even when you feel ugly still love yourself because if you can't love yourself who is going to love you you have to know what you are worth and as a woman you are worth a substantial amount because you are what keep the home in a relationship you are the one bear and carry the children you are the one that see when something is going wrong and can point it out and correct it you are the one that keep that going and you need to know that you deserve happiness and joy I don't want to take too long. I can do another follow-up video. But, oh, and also to my subscriber who has asked what perfume I wore when I met my husband and what had been and still is one of my favorite all-time fragrance. It's Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. And, yep, this is a gorgeous uh mm, special smelling fragrance that how would i even describe it it's alluring and it's strong and sensual and everything at the same time so yes this is fragrance i used to love and my husband loves it on me too and that's why i call it a wife fragrance so yes when he smelled me he's like mm, she smelled good like a wife material or something i don't know i'm just saying but yeah this one coco mademoiselle so yes and that wraps it up. I know there's a lot more I can say. But for now, thank you. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And bless you all.